Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 63, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And um, so a lot's happened. We, we spent a little bit of time earlier leveling up Atten and T3. Then we had a lot of conversations with a lot of different people. Some uh, fools assaulted my crew. We're about to see what comes of that later, too. And uh, Mira just knocked me out with something despite my poison filtration mask. But hey, don't think about it too hard. Story's got to happen. Um, uh, appar apparently the, the breath mask has a, a plot weakness. Or something. Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, the, the, the knockout gas filtered through the plot hole and knocked you out. Okay, anyway, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done picking on it anyway. So we're now controlling Mira in my own environmental suit. I hate these things because you just you just look so sad trying to run across these things. I wonder if these guys say anything so different. Leave me alone. I have know. nothing to say to you. No, so uh, leave before my talons tear trenches in your flesh. Yikes. Oh, come on, let me off the ledge. Never mind. You know what? I, I can't take trying to steer these things, so uh, well, we'll just make our way over into here. And since this is one of the ones with the Gand, remember the Gand? We had a quest. Um, let me uh, go... Nope, not that one. This one. Uh, where is it? Naming of the Gand. A Soliston has asked you to find out the name of a great Gand warrior. Turns out you need an awareness of 15 and to find somebody to tell you that he is in fact in this room despite the the i, I thought i'd talk to everybody i didn't uh it was one of these two guys oh will you s all right why do you speak to the gand what is your name the gand or the gand tell me about the gand the gand are from the outer rim on the outer rim please forgive the gand but the gand do not like to discuss the gand Are you a Gand warrior? Most certainly not. My accomplishments are not worth mention. Aha! Oh. Did I not make the awareness check? Oh, I'm going to have to level her up again. Doggone it. Alright. Okay. Attributes. Let's, uh... Alright. We bumped up the wisdom. Sorry, my my phone's on silent and it got a message. Or it started alerting to me. All right, let, we are going to bump the constitution up this time and the next time. And skills, let's bump up the awareness. All right, I guess I need 15 ranks, not a total of 15. Um, all right, okay. Doggone it. Let's try this again. Because I don't know if you caught that. Um, because he says my accomplishments, where normally they they speak in less uh, direct. There we go. There's my awareness check. Uh, you just referred to yourself in the first person. You are perceptive. How does the Gand explain? Most Gand have no name. The Gand or the Gand. After many accomplishments, the Gand can acquire the right to exist as an individual. Then the Gand is named. Still, the Gand often do not use the Gand's name. It is improper to take pride in the self. Therefore, the Gand are the Gand. Will you tell me your name? The Gand will tell you, but please tell no one. The Gand is known as Osluk. Thank you, the Gand. Ah. Journal entry added. All right. So now you've discovered the name of the Grand Warrior. He's asked that you not share his name with others. So even though this is not the character I started this quest with, I can come back to this dude. At, hey, hey, turn, turn around, turn around, turn around. Easy. Slow your suit down and talk to him real quick. Have you discovered the Gan's name yet? Um, I can lie and give a wrong name. I can say yes and give a name. Or I can say I have, but I promised I wouldn't tell anyone. 
And since I'm trying to keep all my characters as light as I can, except maybe HK, uh, I might let him be himself. Uh, I have, but I promised I wouldn't tell anyone. I see. That's disappointing, but I understand your decision. I'll have to find out some other way. Journal entry added. 500 XP and some light side points gained. Nice. Alright. So that's now moved over to my completed quests. You have discovered the name of the great warrior, Gand Warrior Osluk. You have decided to keep his name secret as he requested. We still got that intergalactic. And now I want to sing the Beastie Boys intergalactic again. Go, That's another one. Go, go look it up. I won't explain it to you because I don't like copyright strikes. All right, let's save the game real quick because we did get some questing and leveling done. And now some more story stuff. We now return you to the story already in progress. Let's make our way to the door. And... Wasn't there a... No, okay. Maybe it was a different bar. There was somebody who was supposed to, to give you some information about... Yeah, no. I'm not going to go back and look for him. Alright. It, it was a pointless thing. Let's go into the special room. To the special place. Ah, you finally arrived. Please come in and remove that cumbersome suit. The air here is quite suitable for your kind. Do not be taken aback by my hospitality. I assure you, no harm, no one will harm you as long as you're my guest and we keep things cordial between us. Dun dun dun! You! Good eyes, Von Harth. No wonder you're still number two on Mar Shada. <laughs> Ouch. Restrain yourself, Honor. There's no need for violence. You just told a Wookiee there's no need for violence? Come on, man. I gather from your conversation that this is not the Jedi I invited here. It is difficult for me to tell humans all look alike. Perhaps you'd care to explain what I owe the honor of this visit and where I might find the Jedi. Yeah. And maybe you'd like to explain why you've decided to backstab Goto and claim the Jedi for yourself. Ah, uh, what a prime example of human arrogance. What you know is substantially less than what I know. Once everything that goes on Jek Jektar is invisible to Golo. Uh, it's something I've discovered by accident and have tested many times since to ensure accuracy. Second, I am not acting on Goto's orders. Not anymore. Hanhar and I reached an agreement to deal with Goto altogether and collect a tidy sum from Voga. You signed on with Voga you the Hut? Visquis, you're dumber than I thought. There's <laughs> no way Goto won't find out. He might. It's possible. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. You see, Voga is very tired of having his freighters hijacked by Goto. It's causing his world to have less weight on our Nalhuta. Rather than simply find the leak and eliminate it, his anger compelled him to eliminate the source of the irritation altogether. Unfortunately, Goto is very careful about showing himself to others. Voga's employee, Hanhar, discovered this when he attended the gathering on Goto's yacht. It all, it's always holograms. But I have suspicion that Goto will reel himself to a Jedi. When that happens, that is when I intend to strike. Unfortunately, it's clear he will not reveal himself to a two-credit bounty hunter with the audacity to try and strike a deal with me. So please, tell me where the Jedi is. I'm not in a mood for negotiation. I'm not telling you where the Jedi is. It's my bounty, and that means he's under my protection. How predictable. Very well, then. Don't tase me, bro. Take her away. It looks like as if we'll not be getting a Jedi this day. What of our deal? And my payment? Hanhar, please calm yourself. The Jedi was on the way to meet us when sidetracked. We must be patient. If he is a Jedi, perhaps he will come for her out of some misguided sense of protectorship. If not, then he will come to meet me and we may strike another arrangement. Uh -huh. Now you can hear me. The numbness you feel should be wearing off soon, but not before we've spoken. When I first heard you were a Hi, the star, 80s called. They want the hair and mustache back. I didn't think anyone could track me here, but I see I underestimated you. I've watched you as you have traveled the refugee sector. I've seen what you have done, what I refused to do. Even exiled, you are more a Jedi than I. 
If Does that mean you're going to bequeath no your lightsaber to me? Have convinced me I can stand by and watch no longer while the exchange closes its grip on this sector. I know a young woman went to meet with Visquis in your place. He will not negotiate with her. He will kill her. I intend to rescue her. I will return shortly, or not at all. If you have come to this moon for answers, or for revenge, then you will follow me. For if I fail, then you will be denied both. Oh, thanks for that. Alright. Hey, look, we woke up. Alright. Do we have all our stuff? Okay, good. You know, I just gotta double check, make sure that the bounty hunter didn't also mug me while I was asleep. Alright, let's open up this. What's in the box? Ooh, a strength package and some parts. What do I have now? Power implant, strength plus two, fortitude plus one. And that's just a strength plus one. Never mind. Okay. You're going to keep blinking at me until I scroll down and click on the glowy thing that uh, I've already seen a couple times, aren't you? Where is the... You know what? I'll just have to deal with it blinking at me. Alright, so there that is. That appears to be everything in this little hut forsaken room. And this appears to be the room hidden behind the magnetically sealed panel. Huh. Interesting that. Oh! Hey, I remember you two. I have an almost finished quest with this. Oh, there's my update on meeting one of the lost Jedi I was looking for. And uh, this means that I can probably finish the intergalactic reunification. And I will no longer be singing intergalactic. Thanks again, stranger. You've returned Lutra to me, and I will be forever grateful. Okay, maybe he's got Aida, something to say. Ah, there we go. I didn't think I'd ever find you. I can't believe you're here before me. The destruction of Telos? I can't even tell you what happened after. Being shuttled from system to system, barely one planet ahead of the Sith fleet. Shh. We can talk about it later. You have my thanks, stranger. I can only hope you have as much luck at what you're looking for. Alright, so... <laughs> I hope so too. May the force be with you. No thanks necessary. I'm just glad I was able to help. I was actually looking for a reward. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I was actually looking for a, a, a little reward. You wouldn't happen to have one of those around here, would you? Just playing about? No. Um, all right. So no thanks necessary. I'm just glad I was able to help. I hope so too. May the force be with you. Let's go with may the force be with you. It's strange you came by when you did. I was right at the edge of deciding whether to give up, turning it over in my mind. And suddenly you walked through the door and gave me the answer I needed to hear. Alright, holding on to hope is what gives you strength. I think you already knew the answer, which was why you didn't give in to the exchange, or I'm just glad I was there for you. Just be sure to do the same if you encounter another in need. Let's go with that one. Will do. Thanks again, stranger. Journal entry added, item received, lightsaber focusing lens fixture. Hey, that means that we now have all the parts we need to finish crafting lightsaber, which we can't do until we get, uh, until we finish with, uh, the solo quest thing. Uh, was there anybody, anything else that we need to do while we're here in the flop house? No, not so far. All right, we already helped them. I'm not sure we're... I think we're going to have to come back to these guys later, if I remember right. Either way, picking a fight with three Mandalorians solo does not seem like a good idea. All right, we've already done what we need to do with those guys. So, it's time to uh, make our way to the bar. Because there is Voga the Hut, We'll have to come back and uh, relieve him of his excess goods. You know, to free up his inventory. Um, that, that'll that have to happen once we're done with the main storyline piece. I hope we can still do that as we do this, too. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And... Alright. We're 15 minutes in. Yeah, we should be able to do this. Here we go. Wrap it 
Ah, finally, the genuine specimen. I had thought I might have to waste more time and resources baiting another trap. But the Jedi has come without an environmental suit. Brave indeed. Well, I don't have one even if I wanted to. We shall le let the fumes of the Jek Jek Tar capture the Jedi for us. Even though I have a poison mask. Uh, seeping through the pothole again. Listen to me. Clear your thoughts. I'd rather clear my lungs. No, oh, that's not an option. Uh, let's try... Can't breathe. Still you're breathing. Let the trace amounts of air in your lungs hold you. The force can sustain you. Listen to it. Let it keep you alive until you reach safety. That... Ooh, that seemed painful. The, the, <laughs> the clipping of some of these items kills me. Alright, you've learned a new force power, breath control. It protects you from all poison damage for a limited period of time at the cost of force points. Nice. It is an old technique similar to the healing trance. Some Jedi can hold their breath for hours. Even days. <laughs> the Jedi is strong. Even the air of this place cannot bring him down. Hey, I'm coming for you, buddy. I grow weary of these sub subtleties. Subtleties? You call this subtlety? Let all the clientele know the Jedi. The real Jedi has arrived. If necessary, remind them of the price for the exile's capture. You know what this means. It's a ballroom blitz. You think they can stop the Jedi? He will carve through them like a blade. Hey, cab hunter. Anhar, do not take me for a fool. They can kill. They cannot kill the exile, but they can wear him down. Be silent and let us watch the amusements on the monitors. All right. So you can fight toxins that are inhaled or absorbed through the skin. Breath control. Select this force power and use it. Now, I, I love that they gave this to you, and it will. I'm sure it'll come into handy later. But uh, I'm going to keep the breath mask on just because I don't want to keep spending force points on breath control. And I fully intend to um, get the maximum XP out of this ballroom blitz. Start singing that Ted Nugent if you want to. Was it Ted Nugent? Yeah. Uh, that, that actually wouldn't surprise me. Although... Um, Although it sounds like you can use this uh, this skill for any poison, and there are other places where you do get poisoned, um, but at this point, your healing skill should also have the ability to remove poison. So I don't know, you know. E either way, I've got the breath mask for now, and I, I when I have gear that is more worth uh, when it, when it yeah. Uh, when I have gear that is uh, more important than the force points, I'll use that gear and switch to using force points for this kind of stuff. So, in the meantime. Alright guys. Just remember, you guys wanted to do this. <laughs> Alright. Uh, how do I want to do this? I do not want to fight a bunch of people all in one spot. So let's bring the fight here. And let's go Force Whirlwind. Let's go Energy Shield. Let's crank up. Where's my battle stem? Yep. Uh, we're not going to murder them. We're going to engage them in honorable combat. Well, somebody's going to be honorable. I'm not sure who it is, but I'm sure that's going to happen sooner or later. No, oh, that's right. This is where they start coming at me from behind. Oh. Let's just uh, keep up the flurry. Those extra attacks between the two weapon fighting and the flurry sure do come in handy. I'm going to save my force points for the heal. Alright, so far so good, right? Any lootable bodies? Just an empty chemical dispenser. Alright, who's shooting at me now? 
Where do I want to go from here? All right, let's uh, dash across this way. All right. I didn't want to get caught in the open like this, but well, what I want and what actually happens don't always match up. Let's uh, duck into a corner here real quick and take care of these guys. Oh, hey. I wanted the guy behind me. Yeah. But it's one of those things that if you're not paying attention, it does add up quick. So, yeah, they're not they're not making big hits at any one point in time, but uh all that is going to add up. All right. So far, oh, hey. There are some remains to loot. Can I loot in the middle of combat? Okay. Yes, I can. All right. Yeah, some of this will stack up pretty quick. Oh, I should probably get a uh, get another hit of the shield in here, and I should also get that Night Valor. I keep forgetting that I have that. All right, yeah, this is the perfect place to start popping that kind of stuff, right? All right, All right. keeping the hit points up. There we go. Yeah, fighting fighting four people in the open like this is not my smartest move. Yeah, we'll top off the health real quick. I also made all those uh, health packs earlier, so that way I've got them if I need them. Come on, finish him. Finish him. All right, um... Does anybody else have any? Oh, yes. Good. There are some more remains worth looting. Ooh, some blinders. <laughs> That's why they thought they could take me. They had their blinders on. Alright, so everything is looted over here. That's all cleared over there. Oh, here's some remains I didn't quite get a hold of. Yeah, let's take... Oh, yeah. Good. I could probably use the battle stims later. The chemical dispenser is empty. So far, so good. Did I leave anybody? Oh, okay. The bartender wants a piece of this, too. Fine. Let's do this. Oh, that didn't work on him. Yeah, I know. Sure would be nice. <laughs> okay, Jane. Just remember, once the pin is pulled, Mr. Grenade is on nobody's friend. All right, let's grab the chemicals because we're going to need those to make more of the stuff later. Hi, guys. Yeah, let's give it a shot, right? What's the worst that could happen? It actually stuns them? Nope. Oh, that, uh, I, I thought you'd be a little harder to hit, but I guess not. <laughs> Dude didn't even get to throw a punch. Like... That's not even fair. Of course, who said anything about fighting fair, right? I didn't. I, I said some people would die honorably. I, I didn't say I was going to give them honorable combat. I mean, you come attacking a Jedi wielding a double-bladed sword with nothing but your fisticuffs? That's on you, man. That's not my fault. All right. Even though I know I need to go to the door behind me to make the most direct route... I know that there's some XP standing around the bar and the room in front of me. So let's do that first. Because uh, it sure would be a shame to let that XP go to waste, right? I mean, they think they're down for it. All right. Let's do this. Let's... Uh, let's get a flurry... Oh, I need to equip another uh, melee shield. <laughs> Good thing I've got a few. Okay. Okay, dokie. And... Yeah, let's pop another shield. Give up a couple of attacks. Oh, hey. Oh, never mind. Fine. 
Are, are you going to be at least a little bit more of a fight? No? Okay, let's, uh... Let's get out of direct view and start taking care of these guys. Let's queue up those uh, flurries, right? Hi. <laughs> Aren't you guys supposed to be tough? I thought they I thought they were supposed to be like the the really. Uh, all right. All right. Let's uh, skip by him real quick. Oh no, he's gonna start doing the blaster thingy. Fine. We'll get to you in just a minute. Are you guys for serious? You're gonna stand there trying to punch me? Come on. Dude. Let's top off the health real quick. No good reason. that well okay then uh, all right so oh, let's uh let's do this dude let's dance this dance <laughs> okay never mind next uh next up I mean th this is worse than some of the movie battles. Thank you for the battle stun. I forgot to I forgot to take that when I walked in here. Don't let me forget to uh, hit one of those up when I go to walk into the next room, huh? All right. Uh, that would appear to be. Is that everybody in here? Nope. That's not everybody in here. What are the odds that you're vulnerable to that? Yeah, you seem like you have a low will save. Oh, oh, I didn't see you hiding in the corner. Don't worry, I'll get to you. Come now. Let's uh, queue up those flurries and bam. Done. Those are all the people that wouldn't talk to me earlier, too. I guess I'll never know what their final words were. Oh, that's right. It's... <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, that appears to be everybody. Did uh did anybody else leave any belongings? I I'd, I'd hate for your belongings to be lost forever. Nope. Right there behind the bar. Ooh, yeah. Okay. What do we got in here? Some more chemicals. All right, good. I can make another uh another set of health packs later when I need to. Now it's time to go through the door that we need to. But first, let's hit a uh, battle stem. Let's hit force valor. And let's go ahead and start up another melee shield. That way we don't have to queue that up on uh, the next go around, right? All right, how do we want to do this? Let's run for the corner again, because there's usually a couple guys right here. There we go. Oh. Um, <laughs> seriously? Uh, guys, come on, man. This is just sad. Did I mention that this was sad? This is kind of sad. I feel sad. You should feel sad. Because each one of these guys is what? At least one, maybe two flurries to the death? Yeah, I mean... I feel like I wasted a stem and a shield. I mean, I can make them if I need to, but this is... I, I was worried about getting overwhelmed with the number of Gandon here. Isn't, aren't they supposed to be these uh, pack tactics kind of... All right, no, never mind. Y you want to you wanna start something before I can properly uh, retrieve my tokens of battle. Alright, um, let's take care of you guys first. Alright. I see somebody standing over there with a force spike, like they want to join in, but they're not sure. Alright, who's next? 
Did these guys... Nope. They ran away. Alright. Come on! You're the next contestant on Given On Junior XP. Yeah! Let's uh, take care of him so we don't start taking fire in the back. D does does his friend there technically count as um, cover? At least partial cover for purposes of defense bonuses? Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, I don't even know why I did that. I'm regening more hit points before they get a chance to. Alright. There's a strength adrenal, because I think I... Oh, no. I guess I'm not done here. Let's get to the point where we can do that and then go from there. Because I think everybody's out of the middle now. Oh, that didn't get them. Okay. Bam! Come on. This isn't even fair. Of course, that might be part of it, because I'm engaging these guys in melee, and they're definitely not set up for melee. Alright. Um, what you got? A Gand Silencer and an Inertial Inhibitor. Uh, just for kicks. What's a Gand Silencer? It's a melee weapon, it does one... Oh! <laughs> nice. Uh, so so basically, these guys have been trying to beat on me with billy clubs. That does one-to-one -one damage with a bonus of one-to-eight. And a 25% chance to stun. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> it's unclear whether this weapon was designed by the Gand or to silence them. Well, oh, I got another adhesive grenade and the blinders, which are, oh, that is an armor bonus. Immune to stun, fear, and horror. Hmm. That might not be bad for somebody that can actually wear regular armor. Yeah, I know. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, all right, so there's a belt with a plus one dex. I'm sure I got somebody that could use that. Um, I'm not sure who's getting the last of uh, the uh, hand-me-down stuff. All right, I guess that's it for the stuff we've acquired so far. Uh, but we do have some more remains to loot. I mean, a Bothan Droid Disruptor. Are we bothering to disrupt them? or no, no. Sorry, bad joke, bad joke. All right, that's it for all the bodies in here. Oh, that reminds me, I missed the most obvious song reference. I mean, we should definitely let the bodies at the floor. Let the bodies at the floor. <laughs> What's this dude doing carrying Mandalorian battle armor? How did I hit you in two hits if you had Mandalorian battle armor? Is that one of those things that if you're just not trained to use it? Uh, or did he happen to mug it off of a Mandalorian? Which still begs the question of how did you manage that? How drunk was the Mandalorian when you mugged him? Okay. Let's take that. And... Ooh, I could always use some plasma grenades. And... Hey, some more plasma grenades. Ooh, 55 bucks. What, what were you planning on spending those 55 bucks in? Never mind. Uh, I'll make sure it goes to a good cause. I'm good and it's my cause. Therefore, it's a good cause. Right? Is that how that works? Am I paladin correctly? Alright. There more than one of those things? No? No, I'm not paladin incorrectly? I mean, they attacked me first, right? Or does that not matter? Alright, uh, nope, that's everything there. 
Alright, I guess we got another room full of uh, mooks to cut through. Double checking. That is everything there. Alright, let's, uh, you know what, we haven't saved in a little while. Let's go ahead and save the game. And I should probably check on my shield status. I've got three more uses of the shield, which should be more than enough. Uh, okay. So then let's do this. Before we walk in the door, let's go ahead and hit that Knight Valor again. Let's hit another battle stem, and let's hit another melee shield, and then we'll head on through. The exile has come far, too far. The Jedi is a predator. You have baited a trap, but only you are caught. <laughs> Trapped? No, Hanhar. As you know, many vents and shafts run beneath Jek Jek Tar. You chased Mira through them once, if I recall. <laughs> So, it is as I heard. You do have a base beneath Jek Jek Tar to trap the Jedi. Yes, it is a private sanctuary stocked with other hunters as eager to capture Jedi as much as I. And you. Oh. We will trap the Jedi there, then wait until the gases overcome him and make him fit for delivery. Then I will go to your base and I will help you trap the Jedi. After all, we are allies in this. You would not betray me as you betrayed the other hunters. Oh, indeed, Hanhar. Against this foe, we stand together. But there's no more reason for us to remain here. Let's go to the lower levels of Jek Jek Tar where the Jedi cannot reach us. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we shall see if the Jedi follows. <laughs> This episode's ending up a little bit long, so if you want to see what's going on next, you'll have to uh, catch that in the next episode. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.